Orlando Pirates have had a fortnight without football, but they've got to hit the ground running tonight uh, in the Nelson Monday, Mandela Bay Municipality. It's up against Chippy United here at this wonderful stadium. Welcome everyone on a sunny Sunday afternoon. The Buccaneers are in fifth place in the league standings on 33 points. They have a chance to go second if they win here. Seven points behind the leaders, Mamaloni Sundowns. They can cut that to four with victory this afternoon. Now Rafale gets a lucky bounce. Rafale off Nyatama. Finds Mayambela. A couple of step overs from Mayambela as he run it too far wide. Shot oh, and a goal! Machupo! On the turn! He caught the goalkeeper out of Wes. And Chippen United have the early lead here. What a snap effort! Great goal. Regardless of where you look at it, Angle maybe not the most conducive and also I don't think he was facing goal where he looked like he was going to take a shot almost on the 10 and obviously it's a beautiful turn now looking to get Morrison going wide on his right hand side Morrison is going to try and drag it back he's looking for the penalty Victor Jawani says penalty chance for the Buccaneers to equalize from the spot I think it's one of those uh, calls that will be debated throughout the week. If you look at the distance from where the defender was and whether it was ball to hand or hand to, towards ball. And so Morrison having scored in the last or having scored the last two goals for his club gets an opportunity here from the spot to make it three in a row. Up against the Trongo and he just beats him. Morrison puts Pirates back level after 26 minutes. Now chance here. Rafale, Rafale, saved by Mabo Juane. It was again a defensive error. It was uh, Nyatama who gave the ball away. And Rafale won it and then his shot in the end saved by Mabo Juane. And that is the end of the first half. That is basically how uh, Chippa United started, and they look uh, very bright. Now Nyatama, Nyatama, Shorty! Nyatama! It's the upright. Unbelievable. Oh, did that one stay out? It was the Shama. ricochet that came back and hit him. Shama completely beaten. He had no, no idea where the ball was going. But great movements. Great in the change of passes. Marco's in there. This might be a chance for Shonga. They still haven't cleared. Mimela with some clever footwork. Shonga! That's a magnificent goal from the Buccaneers, and they've taken the lead. The persistence of Mimela, the footwork as well. And then Shonga delivers. And the Buccaneers go into the lead, and if they can hold on to this, they will be second tonight and four points shy of the leaders, Mamaloni Sundowns. Came with the momentum. Linzo. Still in Linzo. Ball through the middle here. Yeah. Chance for Rafale. And it's stuck in for Mashefo, his first touch of the game. That is a predatory striker's goal, and Katlefo Mashecho snatches it with seven minutes to go. It was that run from Linzo through the middle. For once, Paris uh, didn't organize themselves. There really was a vacuum in that uh, center of the park where Linzo. Baella, another fine ball, goal! Roach! Pirates! Are back in the lead. Unbelievable. It was a great pass from Mayela, the cross, and launch when he launched himself in the air. It's 3 2. Incredible. Well, I thought the drama was over. <laughs> well, uh, wow, 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 wow. Character of the best kind from Orlando Paris. That I thought that goal will take quite a lot of them to recover and still believe that they can still pull something. Lumbo, turn for Shonga. 
Shonga drives! Oh, that is magnificent! Justin Shonga from the tightest of angles. Four goals this afternoon to Orlando Pirates. A thunderbolt from a tight angle. I don't think Mkong expected a direct shot. Oh, I don't think anyone expected it. We haven't seen a goal like that for a long time. Justin Shonga from Zambia showing South African strikers how they can do it. Pirates were much the stronger in the second half. Chipper United 2, Orlando Pirates 4. Coach Michu, some performance today. Tell me about it. First of all, we have played against top team that has uh, pulled the best out of us. We didn't have uh, the best of first half. Um, we have considered that goal, allowing uh, open middle field against very skillful player like Mayambela and giving that ball to, to the striker that has scored. Uh, good enough that we have equalized through the penalty uh, that has been there. And uh, on half time, we resettled, we set uh, the team, and we went all out. We have uh, uh, scored that important second goal. Then against run of play, when we have not scored, we considered that second goal. Still, character of the team, we have shown, shown that we are having uh, a winning character. We have uh, attacked up to end, scored those two goals and won this match in one place that not many teams will come here and win. Uh, we are firmly on the ground, forgetting now about this, focusing on the next Saturday against Chiefs. Congratulations to the boys because they have, up to last detail, abide by uh, instructions we have agreed. I give them credit. They have really shown the Lions they deserve to carry this badge and this jersey. And um, that's it. Many people have wondered who's going to challenge Mamelodi Sundowns. A chance to go second today to narrow that gap. Do you believe that your boys believe? Uh, first of all, our boys believe. But I need to tell you, uh, more than challenging and talking about anything, we shall still work very hard in order to be proper challenger for, for the league. However, uh, the biggest happiness comes that we, today we have collected, after 22 matches, 36 points. Last season, from 30 matches, uh, 33 points. So we are happy that we have uh, outmatched what has last year been. Still eight matches in front of us. Uh, they are favorites. Uh, others are favorites for us. We want to improve and we want with our performance to reach the standard that will make us challenger for the league. Talk about improvement, coach. It certainly was an improved second half from your boys. Very much improved. I give them credit. We have looked each other into eyes and uh, we have given so many balls away, uh, not moved in right angle, uh, not, uh, not playing as per instruction in order to avoid where opponent is strong, allowing them half counters and counters. And uh, I'm very happy that uh, have abide and football has paid back. But in the same moment, there are so many critical aspects that we need to look at in order to correct them in the next few days before the match against Chiefs at FMB. Well done today, coach. Good luck in the derby. Thank you so much. Coach Milutin Sredojevic talking about the fact that his players have fought for the badge. Before this, Orlando Pirates have only taken three points from losing positions in the absurd premiership, and they came from a goal down today. The man standing alongside me knows all too much about Orlando Pirates. Coach, before the game, you said you want the fans to be entertained. They certainly were, unfortunately, at the expense of your team. Yeah, you know, uh, the third goal and the fourth goal, you know, third goal, one man down. Lack of concentration, you know, Andile got injured and he was still being addressed. And, you know, they showed their superiority, you know, and they have an extra player in the field of play. And that's how they scored. The fourth goal, you know, lack of concentration there at the back. And they got the goal. But uh, all in all, I'm happy, you know, it was a good uh, ad advert for South African football, you know. The supporters, they got their money's worth today, even though, you know, we're on the losing side. But I feel that. A draw would have been a fair result of the game. Do you feel, coach, that your players lost possession too carelessly in the second half? I wouldn't say that, Julia. You know, I mean, they also lost possession. Like I said, that you know, the third goal, we're one man down. Fourth goal, lack of concentration from the defense, and uh, they'll punish you if you make those silly mistakes, especially in your final third. But uh, all in all, you know, the players played very well.